Hello YouTube, this is Elzerthay 101 and in this video I'm going to show you how to create social network icons for any website. Uh, it uses CSS so you can use it on uh, Drupal, uh, WordPress, or any of those content management systems. Or you can just use it in Flash or HTML, but I'll show you. Uh, we're going to make something a little bit like that, where it says like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, RSS. Um, it's very simple. What we're going to do is uh, create a CSS page or add the code into a pre-existing page that's going to tell the uh, icons to be there and then all we have to do is in a block on Drupal or in your HTML code or whatever just do div id equals and then whatever we're going to name our div so I'm going to open up my file that I have with the CSS so I'll post a link in the description to all the icons I used. It's called the Social Network Package. I'll actually get the name up right now for you. I use the Aquatus Social Networking. And then in this package you have different sizes, which are 16 by 16, 24 by 24, 48 by 48, and 60 by 60. All right, so for my Facebook one, I did uh, Facebook, pound Facebook, and then you use background image tag and then you reference to your Facebook image and then you put in the width and the height that's going to be the width and the height of the image or the container that the image is going to go to and then you position make sure that says relative now background repeat it has to be no repeat because if it says no repeat it's going to create a square of repeating little tiles now do Z index 10 that's basically going to force the image to be on top of anything else and that's just going to stop things from overlaying on top of it. Now do margin left. This is going to tell the image how far over to go to the left. Like I put 800 pixels and if you look right here, this is 800 pixels from right here. And that's what moved it over. And now margin top. This is going to be how high it's going to be pulled up. I'll it might be a little complicated, so I'll try to explain it to you. It says margin top minus 81 pixels. It's pulling this up right here, 81 pixels from this spot. So it's going up 81 pixels. And then padding bottom, I put 105 pixels. And that's because the padding underneath here, I mean from right here down, is 105. That what that's doing is it's st stopping all these blocks from going up and just being on top of here, and it'll, it stops it from going on top of the menu. So how you calculate this is um, 105 minus 81 minus uh, 24 has to equal zero. So your margin top plus your height have to offset your padding of the bottom. Um, I'll put a explanation of that in the description. Okay, now for your next icon, it gets a little bit easier. All you have to do is reference the background again, no repeat, put in the height and width, the Z index, and then padding left, margin, margin, it has to say margin left, uh, 30 pixels. And what that's going to do is it's going to uh, leave, it's going to, it's the padding from the farthest side away, so that leaves uh, an extra 6 pixels in the middle for padding. And then you just keep doing that, that uh, over and over until you get all your icons in and now go to the block where you're going to put these in my block is going to be header vector dot header so go to configure and now you can type in the code and I'll show you all I had to do I just had to go div id equals facebook twitter youtube feed and then you have to close all the div divs otherwise it'll screw up your website and that's all you have to do besides making sure that your input filters are on uh, PHP code. It's It can be a little bit different for other content management systems, but this is for Drupal. And then you just press save. And this is the final product. Um, the, obviously, you may notice right away that I didn't put any uh, links to these, so all you have to do for links is just use an href tag inside your div. So just do div id equals Facebook and then href equals Facebook.com. It's really easy, so just feel free to ask any 
questions you might have and uh, please leave your comments. Thank you.